Hi there, I thought I'd do a quick video on Remote Falcon. Remote Falcon is a new tool that was put out a couple years ago now by James Vance at remotefalcon.com. It allows your users outside your house, or, you know, sitting on, on the road to select songs um, from your playlist and uh, basically control the show. Um, with the software, you get the ability to create a web page. And I just Googled up some examples. Here's a couple different examples. Um, bar. Uh, and in this thing, it, it will come up with all the songs that you can select. So if you're interested in doing this, it's fairly simple to do. I'm going to show you how to do it. Hopefully I'll get it right. I'm going to quickly go through the, uh, the settings. Um, and again, if I make a mistake or something, look in the comments, look in the description for any updates or corrections. But essentially, it's th the following steps. First of all, you're going to have to install the pl plugin. So you go to the plugin manager. And you're going to find Remote Falcon. It's going to be listed under Available Plugins. When you go to Remote Falcon, you're going to click the Install button, the green button that would be there to install the software. Once it's done, a reboot banner will show up at the top. You have to reboot your, your FPP instance. After which, you'll get a um, plugin uh, entry like this. So you click on Remote Falcon. And you'll get the Remote Falcon page. You need the remote token that you get when you subscribe to the Remote Falcon website. You get a token and you place that in there. Now, now there's a couple pieces here that I want to go through. This is the sort of the key pieces that you need to know. You need two playlists. One is the main show playlist that you're going to have. So I'm going to go to my playlist here. This is on my test case. You have your main playlist. It has all your sequences that you're normally going to play for the night. You may have many different playlists, but you have to have uh, a, a playlist. You must have a playlist. And then you also need a separate playlist. This is critical. It has to be a separate playlist that I called RF playlist for Remote Falcon playlist. These are the sequences that the users can select from. It does not have to be the same songs as your main playlist. It could be a subset of songs. It could be just special songs that you want them to be able to choose from. It, but it has to be a separate playlist with no lead in, no lead out, just a playlist. Now, on your other playlist, you have your main playlist. That is the two. This is what you're going to schedule to start at 5 p.m. and end at 11 p.m. or et cetera, et cetera. You need to add two more entries to your main playlist to kick this off. So you're going to add a sequence entry. You're going to choose FPP command. You're going to find uh, down here, you're going to see Remote Falcon. Turn viewer control on. <clears throat> add that. And then going to add sequence entry, FPP command, turn viewer control off. Those two entries will be added when you add the plugin. So we're going to add those. We're going to move the off to the end of the night. And we're going to move the on to the beginning of the night. So at the beginning of the night, when this playlist is scheduled, and we'll schedule it in a second, um, it will turn the viewer control on. That will, quote, flip the switch on your playlist here. So it'll start allowing people to choose sequences, choose songs. And then at the end of the night, when in 11 o'clock or 10 p.m. or whatever you time you shut your show off, it'll kick this off here and turn you back to the lights off show, i.e. it says your show is currently offline. And the, at the time I'm recording this, I think everybody's show is offline right now. So you get a different kind of um uh, experience on the website when it's when your show is off. Mine is off as well, so I didn't show that. Um, those are the key pieces you need to know. Um, trying to think now, is there anything else that? Oh, so back in Remote Falcon, since we added that playlist, you're going to go to your uh, Remote Falcon settings, and uh, we don't need that. No, sorry, my mistake. Go back to the content setup Remote Falcon plugin. Now that you have your playlist for Remote Falcon set, you select it in here and you sync it with Remote Falcon. That sends the sequences to Remote Falcon. That enables it to be able to show on the website out there. That is pretty much it. That will get everything else. You can leave everything else the same. But have a remote token in there. Put your Remote Falcon playlist in here. And that is, that's all you need to do. Um, as far as scheduling, nothing special there. You would add a schedule um, and it would play. Again, you're not playing the Remote Falcon playlist. You're playing your main playlist. You're going to start it at whatever, 5 p.m. or 
5 p.m. ended at uh, 10 30 something like that save it and away you go at 5 p.m your remote falcon website is enabled they can choose selections at 10 30 p.m it's disabled it's as simple as that five minutes you can have remote falcon running on your system um, and allow your people outside to select the songs it's up to you of course on how you inform them uh, to play the songs maybe a little sign outside or something that scrolls on your matrix every once in a while uh, that has uh, the, the url to your uh, re particular remote falcon website all right so remotefalcon.com go to that website and you can pick up uh, you can log in the software totally free thanks to james of course the, uh, he has a smart support remote Falcon button here. If you'd like to make a donation, I'm sure uh, we would encourage you to do that. If you have any questions, add them to the text below in the discussions. Um, of course, we're always in the uh, Zoom room at xlightzoom.com. Be sure and like and subscribe. Thank you. Have a great day.